My name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here with the Nexigo N660P autofocus webcam. This shoots in HD and it is a 60 frames per second webcam, an external USB webcam that I can use with other computers. And I think that's really convenient, especially because you can mount it on the lid of your laptop. You can off mount it on a maybe a stand of some sort on a tripod or even just on your desktop facing up at you in a pile of books. Lots of cool ways to use it. It's a plug in and forget about it type of thing. It, it's all automatic. Even the autofocus, the exposure, the brightness is all taken care of for you. Even the white balance is set to a way where everybody's environment may be different, but consistent quality is ensured with a webcam like this. Everyone knows the webcam in your computer and the sound, the microphone is garbage in your computer. It can be much better in a standalone accessory like the Nexigo N660P. Highly recommended. I should also note, this is not a sponsored video. I did not get paid or incentivized in any way to make this video. I like it, I recommend it. So the first thing is this, okay? Whatever app you're using, be sure to check in that app that's, uh, that particular settings. So I'm using QuickTime, for example, right? I'm gonna go to the settings here and just make sure the camera that I'm using is the one I wanna use. Sometimes computers have a way of selecting the default, which is the internal microphone and the internal camera, not the one you want to use. So which camera am I using? The crappier one, right? It's pretty obvious. I don't want to use this one. But when I switch um, the microphone, I may not be able to notice it, right? I see the levels going, well, it must be recording my voice through this. And your client on the other end is like, why does he sound like garbage? It's because it's the wrong microphone. So always check to make sure that your headset or the Nexigo is the one that's being used at that moment. And you do that in the settings of whatever app you're on or go into the settings of your entire system. And here you can see under system preferences of my Mac and your PC it might be very similar. You will go under sound, click on that. And you'll see for input and output that there are ways you can click on whatever you want. In this case, I'm using the headset. And for the input, I can choose to use the webcams, audio, noise canceling microphones there. Or I can choose to keep using my headset, which I will continue to do. Okay, so that's the first part. The second part is to now install an app that has little sliders that can control the way you look even though it's an automatic webcam. You can override certain controls if it uh, pleases you. So what you're gonna do is go to nexigo.com, Nexigo, and it will change to nexepc.com. Go all the way to the bottom of the page you will see this, Nexigo Webcam Downloads. Do you see where my web mouse is pointing to? Click on that. Now, you will see some software here. Why don't they talk about this software all that much, right? And the reason why is because it's in beta. It's a beta, right? It means that it's not fully worked out all its kinks yet, and it doesn't work for some people or some systems, whatever. But for me, it worked really well. Go ahead and press the download button that suits your operating system. I'm gonna choose Mac. I'm gonna show you one more thing here towards the bottom. You can choose some of these free programs or buy one for webcam settings for the Mac OS. You can also buy that at the App Store. But my thing is, if I purchase this through Amazon, I want to buy uh, or download the app that comes with my actual webcam. So that's why I downloaded it from here. So if you have a Mac, go ahead and open the package and you'll run into this issue. Nexigo setup cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. I have installed this on other computers. It's fine. It's not a virus. So how do we install it? Press OK. You'll see that it's giving me more trouble and I cannot open it. How do we get around that? Go to Apple, the icon over here, press this and go to system preferences yet again. You're going to find this little metal house, security and privacy. This is where we tell Apple to please allow us to open this file. Okay, 
So here it is at the second half of this window. By the way, the right tab to be on is general, not firewall, firewall or piracy, <laughs> piracy, privacy. <laughs> Click on general. OK, so here you'll see Mexico setup was blocked. Yes, I know. So we're going to open this anyway. If you can't open it, click on this padlock here and put in your password. Open it anyway. And now we have to verify, yes, we do want that. Press open. And then you can go ahead and install this software as usual. It's only about 15 megabytes. There you go. And we can move it to trash. We don't need it anymore. Close out this window and open the folder that has your applications. We're going to find the app we just installed. Okay, here we go. Do you see the Nexigo logo? That is the app we just installed. I'm going to drag it out into my dock here so I have it ready to go. As you are messing around with the sliders, you can press preview here. And this is the preview. Now there's two of me, uh, just when you thought one was enough. And you'll see here that I can move this around. Now, if you mess with it too much, you can press defaults. And this is back to the level that Nexigo feels is suitable. The white balance is auto. The brightness is where it should be. The contrast, all that stuff. So if the lights move, this will also adjust automatically. And that's kind of the whole point of having a webcam, right? Um, the reason why I have this is because if by chance I don't agree with the automatic settings of Nexico, I can simply bump the brightness up a tiny bit or a little lower to make it more dramatic perhaps. Or if I want to make it more contrasty and artsy, I don't know. Um, if I want to make myself look sick, oh, I'm sorry, I can't come into work today. Uh, you can do something like that. Oh, oh, I'm gonna throw up. That's a lot of fun for kids. Uh, saturation, if I want to maybe give myself a little color. <laughs> maybe I was out at the beach and I didn't put sunscreen on. There you go, right? You can really sell it. Um, if you perhaps have bags under your eyes, you can bring down the sharpness. Just a little tip there. You can also go to Advanced, the next panel over, and you'll notice that things are set to Auto, and that is for good reason. I do not recommend messing with those, OK? I think you can mess with the roll and have some fun with this. OK, you can also reset these defaults as well and go back to adjustments to adjust the brightness. Leave the exposure and the white balance alone. Just change the brightness by a few notches. Here's the other very important thing. Before messing with this panel here, which is a lot of fun and it's very uh, customizable, make sure the screen brightness of your computer is where it needs to be. OK, if you think you usually have it down too low, like I usually do, because I don't want lights gleaming in my eyes for the entire time I'm working, I like to turn it down sometimes. But in adjusting the settings for your webcam, your client is going to see this, right? So if you have it too dark on your screen, you might think, well, I need it more bright. Well, this is what your boss is going to see. Right? He's going to be like, why is his screen so bright? But to you, your screen is really dark. And you think this is the way that you should look. So you know, word of warning, make sure your screen brightness contrast, the actual screen, is right in the middle there, depending on how bright your room is. And then you can mess with this. If you've lost perspective, press defaults, and you're back to normal. So I think that's really cool. It gives you another thing to play with. You don't really need it, but I prefer to have it, especially when I purchase the webcam. I hope this helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get a lot out of your webcam, and I will have fun with this privacy cover. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.